Hey there, in this lecture, we are taking a deep dive into flex direction column. So far, we've been using the default layout, which employs flex direction row. This setting makes the flex container range items horizontally, from left to the right. Now let's switch things up and try flex direction column. As you can see, this alteration transforms the container's layout, arranging items vertically from top to the bottom. This shift also brings about a change in the way this file content works. Instead of controlling items arrangement across the horizontal line, it now influences how items are stacked along the vertical line. The main X is now vertical, moving from top to bottom, as opposed to its previous horizontal orientation. When flex direction was set to row, experiment with just like content, flex and, for instance, won't show any results. The reason is that the container's height isn't set, it adapts to the content's height. This means that there is no extra space for items to be pushed towards the end of the vertical main axis. To fix this, set the container's height to 100%. Just a quick reminder. When using height 100%, it's essential to also set the height of the both the HTML and BOD elements to 100%. Let's explore aligned items, which controls the cross X layout, now horizontal, from left to right. If you wish to shift items to the right hand side, you can apply align items flex end. This will push the items towards the end of the cross axis. The default behavior is stretch, where items span the entire width from start to end. You can also achieve alignment at the start with the align items flex start, or at the center with align items center. Now, here's a task for you. I'd like you to position the content in the bottom right corner. Feel free to pause the video, work on it in your code, and when you're ready, come back to see my approach. Welcome back, let's tackle the task. First, we'll push the content all the way to the right using align items flex end. However, keep in mind that we also need to place it at the end of the main axis, now top to bottom. To do this, we just set justify content to flex end as well. And there you have it. In the upcoming lecture, we'll delve into the wrap behavior. Stay tuned, I'll be there to guide you through it.